Welcome to day 24 of our video advent calendar. It's, uh, I can't believe it's the final day and it's Christmas Eve and uh, if you're anything like me, you can't wait until tomorrow and I'm just really looking forward to a nice quiet Christmas. Um, and so today I have my final ornament that I have in my uh, book. Um, I'm sitting here with all the puppies. Uh, I have Kobe, Jackson and Hendrix is underneath the blanket, his favorite, favorite spot to lie. Uh, we're going to see what Lucy's up to as she's saying goodbye to us today. Um, and then I thought that today we would read my favorite Christmas book, which is The Night Before Christmas. And it's uh, something that I read or we read every Christmas Eve. It's one of our Christmas traditions. And so I thought I would read it with you guys on our final day um, of our advent calendar. So let's um, open my book to see what ornament I have today on my final day. And today I have my absolute favorite ornament. This is um, just so, so sweet. This was given to us by um, a very, very, very special person in our life, um, my best friend, and um, she gave this to us in 2018. It says, happily ever after. 2018, uh, we got engaged, and then uh, we had planned to have our wedding celebration, which ended up getting delayed a couple of times due to moving out to New Brunswick and COVID. Uh, so we're gonna be actually having our wedding celebration uh, this summer, or next summer, 2021. Um, but she gave us this at that time and it's one of my most precious ornaments. I hang it on the tree every year and it just reminds me of uh, that year and the time we spent with, with them and, and yeah, it's just, Fantastic. So I'm going to go and add this to my tree um, and hang this in a very special spot so I see it for the rest of the Christmas period. And um, let's go see what Lucy's been up to and then we'll get the book out and read uh, The Night Before Christmas. So it's time for Lucy to say goodbye. She'll be back next year. But before she goes, she's going to join us to read our book, Twas the Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care "'in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds "'while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, "'and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap "'had just settled down for a long winter's nap. "'When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, "'I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the, as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. 
He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thank you so much for joining me over the last 24 days. Um, it's been so much fun sharing uh, some of our traditions here at the manor, our decorations, uh, ideas we've had and, and things we've done for our Christmas market. We hope you have enjoyed it. We, we've really had a great time and um, I wish you and your family of just a very, very wonderful, peaceful and um, great Christmas period and a very, very happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you again in 2021 for our next um, project, our different events that we're gonna have at the manor. And we, we're really looking forward to welcoming you to the manor um, in person and not just by video.